Nation of Fit and Ten, welcome to day 67. And it's approaching the end of, of day 67. So we basically got three days to go. And hopefully you've booked your scan by now. www.cali.com forward slash train on main. Book your scan if you have not. Today, I want to talk to you about something that I keep saying I'm going to talk to you about. So I'm going to talk to you about it today. And that is uh, the topic of yo-yo dieting. Okay, why yo-yo dieting doesn't work. Why yo-yo dieting leaves you... Uh, well, actually, I guess I should step back a second and explain what yo-yo dieting is. Yo-yo dieting is not just dieting off and on. It is... In particular, dieting extreme, so going through extreme bouts of calorie deprivation and maybe extreme exercise as well, but definitely extreme calorie deprivation and then coming out of it and then going back to it. And so we're going to talk about a little bit what happens to uh, your body when you do this, uh, what happens to your, met your, your metabolism, your body composition, etc. So... Let's talk about this. So I made a little graph here and hopefully that you don't freak out by this. There are just basically three uh, variables that, were, that, that are in this graph, okay? So I'm gonna hold this up here like so and hopefully you've got a good view of it. Now, in the green here, the green, this is your caloric consumption, okay? Um, okay, actually, let me just step back a second. This is time along the axes, okay? So starting from, you know, point zero and then time is moving along here. Now, in the Y axis, we've got three variables. So we've got food, okay, food consumption, calorie consumption, I should say. Calorie consumption, we've got in the red, metabolic rate. And in the blue here, we've got body fat. Okay, so the amount of body fat, you whatever, in the, your, your fat mass in pounds or kilos, however you want to measure, okay? This is your fat mass in blue, metabolic rate in red, caloric consumption in the green, and this is on your x-axis here, on the x-axis, you've got time moving along here. So, let's take a look at this. So, you, you, you want to... You lose some body fat, okay? You're tired of being fat, and so you say, okay, I'm going to make a major change to my diet, and I'm going to excessively, I'm going dramatically, excuse me, drop my calories. So you do that. So almost instantaneously overnight, you drop your calories down quite significantly, okay? And this is typically what happens with yo-yo dieting. An example of this would be, or with, I should say with a lot of dieting in general, Example, this would be like the biggest loser, okay, if you're, if you're familiar with that TV show. Um, and just wanna make sure you guys are seeing this. So we drop the food down excessively and what happens as time goes on is we see a drop in the uh, metabolic rate here, okay? So the metabolic rate doesn't initially drop right down. It's going to adapt over time, but soon enough, it will drop, 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 drop. The longer we go on low calories, the more we're going to affect that metabolic rate. Now, some of this loss in metabolic rate is the loss of fat tissue, okay? Because fat tissue requires energy to conserve it. Some of this is a loss in lean body mass, especially if you do very low calories, you're gonna lose lean body mass, okay? But the other part of this is a metabolic adaptation that happens, okay? Metabolic adaptation that happens over time. Basically, the body does not wanna keep running energy, highly energy inefficient if the calories aren't there, okay? So if there's a major gap created between, so let's take a look at it just right here. If there's a major gap between calories and metabolism, look at that gap, okay? Big gap. The body wants to close the gap as it does down here. It closed that gap. It closed the energy gap, okay? At the point at which the body stopped losing losing uh, fat, okay? Now, the blue, as I mentioned, is body fat. So the body fat, okay, we drop the, ca we drop the calories down, the body fat drops, the metabolic rate drops, and we reach the end of the diet here. Maybe we're just, you know, tired. We've lost enough fat. Okay, 
Now let's end the diet. So we end the diet. We go back to how we were eating before because that's what most people do with a diet. We go back to how they're eating before. And so they do this. So their calories shoot right back up. All right. And over time, body fat starts to go back up again. All right. And over time, the metabolic rate increases. We gain some lean mass, we gain some fat, and some of those metabolic adaptations uh, start to rectify themselves. Okay, the, the metabolism starts to become a little more inefficient. But what we tend to see, especially if we do low calories for long periods of time, is that metabolic rate does not return to normal. Also, what we tend to see with bringing the calories back up, we tend to see the, the body fat here, this blue line, the body fat, it overshoots. That means we have more body fat than we did in the beginning, but the calories are the same. I'll say it one more time. We have more body fat after the diet, after we return to our regular calories for a period of time and we regain the body fat. We gain more body fat because the metabolic rate has not returned to normal, okay? So consequently, we get this overshooting in body fat right here. All right, so then you say, oh my God, I'm back to where I was or worse, in fact. So I'm gonna start the diet again. So then you drop your calories back down. So going back to the screen line here, we drop those calories back down. We gotta get back on the diet so we get back and losing weight again. But our, meta our metabolism never fully recovered, okay? So we drop the calories back down, the metabolic rate drops, okay? course this is good we start to lose more body fat not not the metabolic rate dropping but the fact that we drop calories we start to drop uh, body fat again but we notice we don't drop as much body fat we don't drop as much body fat and the metabolic rate drops even further down as a result of instituting the diet again so what do we do well we're not losing as much body fat so we're gonna drop the calories more so we drop the calories more here we go, we drop more, yes, all right. Further degrading the metabolism, further creating this disconnect between our metabolic rate and our body fat. Like look at the disconnect here between the, the, uh, the metabolic rate here and the body fat level versus say here, the metabolic rate and the body fat level, right? And then eventually we, we um, we tire out and we say, or sorry, we don't tire out. We say, well, we're not losing more body fat, so I'm gonna drop the calories again. And you can just see the vicious cycle that continues, okay? Again, creating this huge gap. As we go along here, the body just says, uh-uh, I'm not going to drop any more body fat. So this is the reason why I don't want you doing super low calories. A, you can't sustain it, and B, it's gonna mess you up down the road, okay? So, I don't know if you remember this or not, but I mentioned this in the beginning. I can't remember if it was in the very first day or maybe it was in one of the lectures I gave, one of the, um, the information, not the information sessions, but one of the tutorials that I had online. I said, this is not a fat maximization program. Sorry, fat loss. <laughs> this is not a fat loss maximization program. It's not, because if it was, I'd make you do more exercise and I'd make you eat less. Okay, but that, that only takes you so far and then you gotta deal with the consequences, all right? So we would rather get the most fat loss that we can out of the most calories that we can, and then do this for an extended period of time. Now I realize 10 weeks is, it's a decent amount of time to quote follow a diet, but again, and I did drop your calories a little bit lower than I would probably otherwise, depending on the person, otherwise uh, with one of, one of my personal clients, but the point is, is to have a reasonable amount of calories over time, okay? None of this, like Dr. Bernstein, 500 calories per day. They, I know so many people have done this and they just, they go right back to where they were. They're worse, in fact. They're worse because they have that metabolic adaptation and they're worse because they lost lean body mass. All right, so if you have any more questions about this, let me know. I'll hold this up here again. Maybe you've got some questions. One more time, this is your energy intake, okay? The green line. The red is your metabolic rate. The blue is, uh, excuse me, the blue is, um, is your body fat, okay? 
So any questions about that, let me know. All right, 10 minutes, way too long, but how can I do this video in a short time with something as uh, detailed as this? Okay, message of the day. Your mind is like a garden. You need to nurture it with positivity. Your, your mind is like a garden. You need to nurture it with positivity. How can we expect to achieve anything of any great magnitude, especially doing something like the Fit and 10, if you're feeding yourself negative thoughts? Okay, now I know it's easier said than done, but I'm sure some of you, if not a lot of you, have a lot of regular negative thoughts. If you don't, kudos to you, and I want to know what you do, because yours truly even suffers from this. Okay, and uh, so if, if anybody out there does suffer, doesn't suffer from this or hasn't, I'd love to know what you do. But for those of us who do, we need to remind ourselves that these are not rational thoughts. And if we expect to get anywhere, it all starts with the mind, right? It starts with the mind. We've got to believe in ourselves. We've got to believe that we're worthy of something. We've got to believe that we can achieve what we uh, set our minds to. And also we have to know, right, that part of the journey is encountering these, these, uh, these little obstacles, these mini failures, whatever you want to call them. This is part of the, this is part of the journey that everybody goes, or everybody encounters these little, these little uh, mishaps as they're working towards whatever they're working towards, right? But the key is to keep going, maintain that positive mindset. Don't let those negative thoughts come in and derail you from what you're working towards, okay? Positive energy, positive vibes, believe in yourself and for the love of God, give some gratitude and I will talk to you tomorrow as we head into the final three days, which is crazy. Book your scan if you have not. See you tomorrow.